Hey guys, it's Protoman 111 with Let's Play Mega Man Legends. In the last segment, uh, we had a nice big battle on the water, as you can already tell, but you can't tell how far, because the draw distance kind of sucks, but aside from that. Um, we were fighting with the Bonds to get, actually get to the ruins, because, you know, they just decided that they want to cause problems with us. Um, before we start, we're going to actually energy charge. I'm not going back for what you call it, a uh, hyper cartridge, because it's not that bad in this particular ruin. It's not that long, but there is it's a little harder than the last. So to start, let's go ahead and get these ruins open. The little animation of the eye glowing red and then the door opens up. Let's just walk straight in! Yay! Welcome to the late June ruins. Um, this the difficulty of this particular ruin is a little harder than the last, so just be prepared for a little harder fight. Oh, Mega Man, let's get started. Surprise! I upgraded the support equipment for the boat. I should be able to access your spotter from here too. I wonder if that old spotter used to be a bigger kid. So apparently, Wiley. The guy at the boat shot owner uh, used to be a spotter, potentially, because apparently the boat has spotter equipment, which is nice. Now, at first glance, you couldn't tell that was a hull wall because it was so high up. You couldn't really tell it was something you can interact with, but there, that's a hole in the wall. And that's what those will look like in this particular ruin. Um, they're easy to miss the first time around. So you can already tell, the, the robots we've already met are actually slightly stronger here, and they're different color variations. These generally are a little more aggressive, and they'll just shoot fires at you, pretty much. Um, the fireballs do not break your shield, but they hurt a little bit more than the regular attacks do. Also, they'll tend to, they tend to dash around and stay fairly close to you, and they take more hits to kill, so just be aware of that. Now, currently, the buster setup I have is kind of spread out, and it's not really balanced at all, but this is a good uh, setup for uh, at least uh, if you're going for rapid and attack. Now this ruin's a little bigger, and it's easier to get lost here. So lots of passageways, a lot of little passageways, but it's worth your time to actually go through and explore everything. Because you'll get little things here and there. And you'll get a couple of buster parts that'll help you out too, along with an important part that'll let you have but three buster parts, so be aware of that. Um, this first box shouldn't have anything too important in it. It has old hover jets. Now with this and the um, roller board, we can actually make the jet skates now. Uh, but we will do that at the end. So with that, we'll just head up here and jump. Now you'll see why we needed the jump springs before we can even come here, because they're really high jumps that we couldn't make before. Now these guys we've seen before, but I'll, I'll, I'll flash the information just as a refresher. Again, they're the same process, and as soon as your little gyroscope goes off, that pretty much is telling you that they've spotted you at this point in time. What I'm going to do again is demonstrate the, the two ways you can take them out, or the three rather. You can either do that, just shoot them until they flip, it seems if you have a rapid, really rapid firing buster that you can get away with it. Good timing, you can stop them from charging you and flip them over. Which is kind of iffy at best, but whenever the gyroscope is going off, these partic for these particular robots, that, that means they've spotted you and they're slowly inching their way towards you. To charge you at a certain range, but if you let them charge you from far away, eventually they'll stop running if they haven't hit a wall. I'll, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. Just so you can see that. Get him to turn around and charge me. And he'll run for a certain extent. Now I'm not going to kill all these guys because it's kind of redundant and kind of boring. Because they do respawn eventually later. But you want to take some time and go through the little passageways here. We can get some nice items in these passageways. This passageway we actually don't need to come to just yet because it leads into another area. And don't miss this hole. It's very easy to miss. Now this ring actually isn't an item per se, uh, something you can physically use. It's actually something for roll later, just like the flower we picked up a while back. And of course they can still spot us being flipped over, but they really can't do much. Again, these guys aren't new, they blow up like mines when you shoot them, and when you blow them up, make sure you keep a sufficient distance away from them. That way they don't blow you up, or they don't hurt you with AoE damage. The problem with this game and this lock-on system, it's kind of crude. You can't really switch your target like you could in Legends 2, which is kind of a bummer, but 
to make up for that, he can kind of sort of auto aim or semi auto aim and aim at the reaver bot that's in front of you. So that, that kind of makes up for it. But aside from that, um, and it's kind of clunky in this game, which I don't like, but hey, it's the first game. They improved upon it in the second game, so I can't really talk about it much. Now, a Gatling part, I believe, makes an item. I'm not, I can't remember exactly, even though I ran through this last night, which is kind of horrible, but aside from that. Now, like I said, there are small passageways. You want to take your time to uh, go through, and this is a starter key, and this kind of implies there's a refractor here. We could probably take you, so. What did you find? From these readings, it looks like a starter key. That means there's probably a big refractor in here somewhere. Good luck. Which means we are going to have more refractor action. Now, this refractor is red, and it's kind of big, just to be, just to let you know. Um, okay, now that you we've finished in this room, you can take the front entrance, or you can come this way. I would like rather you start this way, because there's actually an item you can pick up heading this way. So what you want to do is make your way around a long, winding passageway and come out this way. Mega Man, what can you see up there? I'm not picking up anything on my monitor. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now this is actually a pretty cool room, because you can tell little waterfalls kind of make the transparent effect. And that was pretty cool at the time of this game, and I like it, and you can tell the water's on the ground. Now there's a reason why Roll chimed in and said she doesn't like the look of things. There's a specific enemy in this room that we cannot see yet, yet here, until he wants to make himself known. And there's another starter key. There's three starter keys, like the last ruin, so it's not any different. There are mines floating in the air, and I'm going to show you the enemy that I'm talking about that I hate. Oh no, somebody is coming. No, actually, somebody is actually coming. Where are they coming from? No fucking clue. We can't see them yet. Now when the gyroscope goes off, well, that's because this asshole right there. Hi there, guy! I did see you there before. These guys like to cloak themselves. They generally don't uncloak themselves, and they hurt like that! They generally don't uncloak themselves until they're about to attack. About the best thing you can do is actually listen to their incoming, um... Attack, their incoming noises as they run towards you. They like to cloak in and out. Sometimes what they'll do is instead of it coming continuously attacking you, they'll like to run off and, and, tell, and disappear. That way you can lose track of where they're going. But aside from that, they're not different than the, the green ones that we fought, but I think they're a little stronger. Uh, you can tell when they're activated because you'll hear like a whoosh sound and they'll jump out and do stuff. Now this is the important part that I was mentioning. Now we can have three buster parts, but we can't really do anything with it just yet. Yeah, take it back to roll. Now, um, what you want to do before we head into the north room right there, you want to head back over here and go towards the passageway where we started. Now, in the previous room, if you were to take the, the, the straight north route, this is the, 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 that would lead us to this part. But we would not be able to get to that area over there with the starter key. So that's why I mentioned going to the left path first. Or rather, the right, excuse me. Come along this path. Avoid the, the mines that are here. And just... Oh, shit! I didn't get this high. <laughs> the, I've never actually had that guy reach this high before. They generally don't get this high. Generally, when you're up here, you're pretty safe. They generally don't reach you. But I guess this one got smart and got up here. They do jump a lot. Which is part of the problem. And here's the third starter key. So we already have three starter keys. You're kind of thinking... Okay, this is pretty freaking easy. Well, we'll change that here in a little bit, so don't get too complacent. And we get some zenny. So with that, we've explored the whole room. Let's get our, our bases up to the north part of the entrance. Something makes me think this guy is up here. We're stuck on the second level there. Yeah, he's stuck on the second level. You can hear him. He's trying to charge us. So quickly run and stay off the ground floor and get moving. Don't even stop, I wouldn't recommend. Though you can stop to fight them, it's probably not a good idea, considering you don't know where the enemies are. Or you can take your time and find where all the ground enemies are that are invisible and come in. These guys suck! If they get out of the- if the, your gyroscope goes off every little blip sound it makes, that's pretty much saying they've spotted you and you better either take them out or get the hell out. They hurt. Um, they're not too particularly strong, but they hurt. I'll come back and deal with them in just a second. Um, this leads to two passageways, side passageways. We'll go to one, but not the other, because the other is pretty much a dead end until we have that special weapon I mentioned earlier that breaks walls and the like. But, um, you want to come here. There is a buster part we can pick up here, which can come in handy in a little bit. Now, this place links with the other, 
other passageways here, obviously, because you can tell with the wall. But we'll, we'll get to that later, because we don't have the item just yet. Now that's a rapid striker. This gives you two rapid to your buster, so we can't really use this just yet or make full use of it right away. Um, until we get the joint plug installed, we can have three buster parts. But with that, we'll just head straight back up, straight back around, and I'll actually just deal with those guys that I've showed you. Now, they only have one really primary attack, and that's a sound wave, and it has a pretty long range, and it hurts pretty badly. Though it doesn't break your shield, you think it might. Um, to take care of these guys, you want to take them care of them very quickly, because they like to attack in groups. By themselves, they're not a big problem. In groups, they are, considering that they'll just chain those sound waves that you would hit you pretty badly. They do drop a lot of Zenny, which is nice. But, um, if you really want to take the risk, you can. If you have a weapon that can kill pretty quickly, I would suggest using it. I have the machine gun buster just because I use it quite a bit. Now I'll show you their attack. It's pretty long range. Now you can actually interrupt them from using it if you uh, shoot them enough. Also, don't stand in one place too long. This will just incite them to keep spamming the attack. Also, they run away. Eventually they will come back, but you will want to kill them. You can't hit them when they're in the water because it just does nothing. Or, yeah, okay, apparently you can, but then you miss out on the Zenny they drop. So with that, that's pretty much those enemies. Those are the worst enemies in this particular ruin. They're not that difficult, but they hurt if you let them hit you. Now, this passageway leads to a dead end. We'll get to that later. We can't do much with that now. With that, I'll just go ahead and skip ahead, because you already generally know how it works. Um, sometimes you may just want to rush and don't even fight them, depending on how many come out at a time. Uh, but you can, and they're worth the, they're worth the effort. And hey, look! Looks like a big old yellow plug thing. Looks like a set of tires. Turbo Man, perhaps? Is there anything there? I'm not picking up anything on my radar. Huh. It doesn't really do anything. Oh, well, I guess it's nothing to really worry about now, is it? Huh. Anyway, go to the north. Hi, refractor. I'm reading this right. There's a huge refractor there. We should be able to repair the flutter with one that big. Well, that's a pretty positive note. And since we all got three, already got all three starter keys, we just get it open. So, let's get this open and get that refractor, shall we? You can tell it's, it's notably big. I think it's about as big as Mega Man is. Traps? Yes? No? Traps? Any traps? Pedestal going down? Boulder coming out? Lasers? Trip wires? Anything? Hello? Nothing? Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything. Huh, hmm. that's strange. That's funny. No alarms or security devices? Be careful, Mega Man. I don't like the looks of this. You and me both. A refractor that big needs to be guarded. It just it just screams ambush, if you don't already know that. But whatever. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to look a gifted horse in the mouth. Mega Man, I'm picking up a Reaverbot signal. It came out of nowhere. It's a big one. The readings are going off the scale. Autobots roll out. Wobble. So, this guy is impervious to a lot of things. First of all, you'll notice you can't hit him outright. First thing you could probably do is not that, but it still worked. He has two attacks mainly. A diving attack and a shockwave attack. When he dives at you, you can either be out of range like that, or if he's within range and he's going to hit you, you can simply jump away from him. Or dodge roll as such. With a shockwave attack, he'll jump to the center of a room and just shoot the shockwave, simply jump straight over it. Now, the only damageable part on him is a his head. You can't damage anything else. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can jump and shoot repeatedly, or you can just aim up and shoot. Now, if you have a special weapon with nice uh, range, it will be a very easy fight. With a machine gun buster, it's almost laughable. Now, if you're good with the timing on the, on the, on the, uh, the dodge roll, it'll be good, and you won't have a problem avoiding him. Otherwise, just jump away from him when he dives at you. That's pretty much the easiest way to deal with it. 
With that, he's not that difficult, actually. He's just the fact that he's impervious, and you have to figure out how the hell to hurt him, which is the hard part at first. Now, you basically want to keep away, and if you have the machine gun buster, just peg away at his head. And use the auto, use the manual aim. If you're too close to him with the man, with uh, with the manual aim, he'll lo it'll lock, and it'll pretty much just shoot his torso, and you can't really do much. Now you can basically jump and shoot, but this takes significantly longer, and you can't really be assured that you'll hit him, and of course you'll leave yourself open if he decides to suddenly dive at you. Um, anything like the Powered Buster with AoE or anything that has an AoE, you know, spread will help. If you hit him enough in the head, as you've already noticed, he'll kind of hold his head and kind of block some of the blast. It's kind of just to stagger the battle out, which is kind of lame, but it still keeps it from being too and overly easy. With that, this boss is not hard at all. I mean, it's a it's a bigger step up from the previous rune that had no boss, but um, he's not that difficult considering he only has two attacks that he can hit you with. Um, but the flustering thing, as I said, is the fact that you have to figure out first of all what he's trying, how do you hurt him, and then secondly, not getting hit while trying to figure out how to hurt him. Now, he doesn't do too much damage, but he's not that easy to figure out how to hurt him, and he is dead. I'm not picking up any Reaverbot signals anywhere. It looks like you got him. Now, the bad thing is you can't really farm him for Zenny. He doesn't show up again. Once you've killed him, he's gone for good. I mean, that's the only bad thing. So, with that, we have to make our way all the way back to the entrance. So, what I'll do is I'll cut away, and you don't have to hear me talk about stuff that you already know about. So, um, I will meet you back towards the entrance of the ruins. So, see you there. Okay, so we're back towards the front of the entrance of the ruins. Now, this part's going to be a little harder than when you came in, because all the reaver bots that are hanging around here are actually kind of gathered together. Um, when you were coming in, you were taking them out as they were as an, as an optimal configuration, i.e. you came in and you were killing them as you came up here, so it made it easier to come through this area. Now that we've come back and they've all respawned, there are like three or four in this just the center area alone, and they just come in and start trying to ambush you or just, you know, just gangbang you. Um, that one decides he wants to spin around in circles. Yeah, I think I like that one. I'm not going to kill him. <laughs> he, he likes spinning around. I like spinning around because it's fun to get dizzy sometimes. But other than that... You must be getting hungry, Mega Man. I need some apple pie. Are you up for a slice when you get back? Everybody likes pie. I like pie, too. So, let's go back and get pie because pie is good. So with that, we get out of the ruins. We have some nice new toys to play with. Especially that new refractor shard. Just to get the flutter repaired. That's really important. So up we go. So with that, let's head back to the boat and get back to the mainland. Let's head back to the west side of town. I'm fresh out of ideas. You know, what bothers me most is that while we're sitting here, he's out there digging up all sorts of stuff. Calm down, Teasel. You're going to burst. He won't lead us to the treasure. No one will as long as that big door is still locked. All we have to do is make sure we get rid of him before then. Right? So what if he digs up a few scraps here and there? He can keep that garbage. All we're after is whatever's behind the main gate. Right, Teasel? You know, you're absolutely right. Then that will be our new plan. We'll wait for him to open the main gate. We'll let him keep whatever he finds until then. He'll see. It'll be the Bonds who have the last laugh in this game. That's right! <laughs> Way to break the fourth wall, T. So this game. How do you know it's a game? Well, regardless, there's Wiley or Willy. Oh, thanks, sir. 
Now, if you come back before you got the refractor, he'll mention that the pirates stole all his boats to make that giant boat that we fought in the last segment. And he kind of just shows his disgust of it, which I think we should too, because, you know, jacking people's boats to build a bigger boat, which then uh, subsequently gets destroyed. Yeah, thanks for that. Also, the lady who was walking out here before is gone. It's another lady, but she has nothing relevant to say. Also, support car randomly here. If you recall, we never called it. So, the game was nice enough to crap it out right here for you. So let's go talk to Roll. Hello! Works for me. If we get this flutter going, that's all good news under my ship. Mega Man, could you take care of the refractor? Okay. Finished. Wish it was blue. Blue's better. It's ready. Okay, I'm all done here too. I'm going to fire up the engine, Mega Man. You grab that blue lever there. Gotcha. This one, right? Yep, on my mark. Ready. Cell switch on. Refractor rotation speed increasing. Engine field generation at 80%. Safety lock, check. Initiating countdown. Three, two, one. Mega Man, now! Here goes. Metastatic field operational. Pair production active. Come on, fly. We're flying! Want to start a dig at the cave, and I'll take you there any time. Now that cave she was mentioning, that was actually Closer Woods' uh, sub ruin, the the ruin that uh, Teasel was trying to get to with the Marl Wolf that he couldn't get to the bottom of. But I want to talk to Roll real quick. Sense. Everything's going our way. We're getting along. We're moving. Actually, mad a good clip, but apparently you're worried about something. Well, I guess to each his own. But now we can actually go into the R&D room. The R&D room looks exactly like the uh, support car, except it's just red. You know, and I can see why. So with all the crap we've just collected, let's go ahead and develop what we can get out of this thing. Now with the rollerboard and the old hover jets, you get the roller skates. And, or jet skates, rather, roller skates. Yeah, they might as well be roller skates. Okay, let's just, let's just, just skip through this. Yeah, and that's also an important bit. Don't, like, just get haphazard and just, just, just fly everywhere in the street. All of a sudden, big bus runs you over. These are your instructions to use the jet skates. Um, basically, on the PS1 version, you'll want to equip them from the special items menu and then hold the circle button down. As you hold down, uh, Mega Man will crouch down a bit and he will jet forward. I'll get into the specifics later, but there is actually a mini game we can use the jet skates for that'll get us some Zenny and another item as well. We'll need to use that later. We'll, we'll get to that in a little while. The joint plug makes the adapter plug, which means you get three buster parts now, so you can get more customizable with your buster gun. Now this is the buster part, and it it, re it increases your um your uh, your your rapid. That's about the only thing it does do. Now with that, we want to actually give Roll the item we found. 
Uh, and I haven't given her the flower yet. This is the flower from the very, very early on when the when the bonds were attacking the northern uh, forest. Gave her this flower just to be nice. And talk to her again, and we can give her the ring. And of course, let's be the nice guys that we are, or nice gals that we are, and give uh, Roll the ring. So, with that, we are done with this segment. Next time, side quests! You know, everything that everybody likes to do. Um, the majority of these side quests will be in the west side of town, and they will be consisting of mostly mini-games and some other things we need to do. So, with that, we've gotten another refractor. The flutter's repaired. Progress. This is Proto Man 111, signing off.